All right, now let's take a look at some amazing hidden features on your Samsung Galaxy phone. The first one is tablet mode. Yes, you can use your Galaxy phone in tablet mode for which you need to make some changes in the developer settings. Let me show you how exactly you can do that. First, you need to enable developer options in the settings menu. To do that, go to the settings, tap on about phone, software information. Here you will find the build number. Keep tapping on this build number continuously the developer mode will get enabled. Now let's go back. You'll see the developer options right at the bottom of your settings menu. Tap on this. Keep scrolling down to see a category of settings called drawing. Under drawing, we have got these window animation, transition animation, etc. Here you will see an option called minimum width. Tap on this. Now by default, the minimum width will be 384 on the Galaxy S23 Ultra. Now this depends on the device and this may not work on all the Galaxy devices. So be wary of that. Now what I'm gonna do is I will just change this 384 into 611 and I'll tap on OK. Now the phone is in tablet mode. As you see, the text is very, very small right now. So to increase the text size, you can go to display settings and tap on font size and increase the font, which will make it look better. Now, whichever apps you open, if it supports the tablet mode, you will be able to see the contents in tablet mode. As you can see, when I open notes, this is how it appears. All these menu options are in the left hand side. Let's open messaging app. As you can see, all the messages we can see on the left and whenever you open a message, that will appear on the right hand side. Likewise, we have got many other system apps and third party apps which can be used in tablet mode. Now, if you want to get back to the phone mode, again, go to the minimum width under drawings on developer settings, change it back to 384 or whatever number you had by default on your phone. Make sure you remember the default minimum width so that you can get back to the original mode. This is a fantastic hidden feature we have got. Now, the next one is bypass charging. Samsung calls it pause USB power delivery. Now this feature enables you to run the phone directly through the wall charger without using the phone's battery. This can be used during games. To enable this feature, you need to go to game launcher application on your Galaxy phone. At the bottom, tap on more. Here you will see an option called game booster. Tap on this. Here you will see pause USB power delivery option. This will be activated only when you have connected a PD charger onto your phone. You can enable this feature and play games and some other applications without using the phone's battery. This feature will help us in less number of batteries charging cycles, which will increase the lifespan of the battery. And we will have less thermal throttling during gaming when your PD charger is connected and when this feature is enabled and the heat generated will also be lesser. Now let's look at the third hidden feature. Let me go to settings. Let's go to security and privacy. Here, when you scroll down under security, we have got biometrics option. I'll tap on this. Now here we have got a toggle you can see, show unlock transition effect. This will enable a transition effect when you unlock your phone. As you can see, this is without the transition effect and with the transition effect when you unlock your phone. Just in case if you want that cool transition effect when you unlock the phone, you can enable this hidden toggle. Now let's look at the next hidden feature. This is the gallery labs. Let's open gallery. I'll tap on this hamburger menu and I'll tap on settings. Now by default, you will not see gallery labs option. To enable this, you need to go to about gallery. And again here, keep tapping on the version number multiple times. You will see gallery labs enabled and it will sit right at the bottom of the gallery settings. Now this gallery labs option offers so many different settings and possibilities which will change the way you use the gallery. Like we have got this album entry locks. When you enable this, you can actually set an album entry lock on each album that you have in the gallery. We have got a few more cool options like support save as PDF, support print multiple pictures, and if you don't want this film strip in the viewer, you can disable this. And if you have kept it enabled, we have got multiple video player mode options also. Now I have already discussed a gallery labs in detail on the channel. If you want me to do a dedicated video again for gallery labs, you can let me know, drop a comment. Now the last feature I want to discuss about is the side key power off option. Let's go to settings, advanced features. Here we have an option side key. Now under press and hold option, we have got wake up Bixby by default. Whenever you press and hold the power button, the Bixby will wake up. 
Uh, instead of this, if you want to have power off menu, you can select this option. Now you have power off menu right here on the power button. A lot of us prefer the power off menu on the power button instead of wake up Bixby. And apart from this, you can also set double press options. You can select a particular application for double press side key, or you can quickly launch camera as well as Samsung wallet quick access can be set on a double press side key option. These are five amazing hidden features which I wanted to discuss in this video. This is the part one of this. I will post part two of this video where I will discuss some more amazing hidden features which you should know as a Galaxy user. So stay tuned for that and be sure to subscribe to the channel and give this video a like if you find this useful. That's about it. Thanks for watching. My name is Salian signing off. Cheers. Bye-bye.